friends, fellow beer geeks. My name is Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and tonight I have a beer for you from Lakefront Brewing out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is their Rendezvous. Uh, Rendezvous is a beer to guard, which is something new to this channel. I don't think I've done a beer, beer to guard review here uh, before, and it's kind of a, a style I don't really have that often. I, I have to admit I had to look up, uh, I had to look it up on the BJCP style guide. Uh, and I'll go ahead and uh, give you an idea of uh, the beer to guard st style, the history. It kind of derives from a farmhouse ale. It is uh, style 16D in the BJCP style guide. The name literally means beer which has been kept or lagered. The traditional artisanal farmhouse ale from northern France brewed in early spring and kept in cold cellars for consumption in warm weather. It is now brewed year-round, related to the Belgian Saison style. The main difference is that the Beer de Garde is rounder, richer, sweeter, malt-focused, often has a cellar character, and lacks the spicing and tartness of a Saison. So, sort of like a Saison, but not as tart and spicy. Uh, that's that's the Beer de Garde style. It's a French farmhouse kind of ale, I guess you could say. It comes in at 7.2% uh, alcohol by volume. 22 IBUs and it was sold in this uh, 22 ounce bomber. So let's go ahead and get this cracked open into a glass and see what it is all about. Okay, so this pours out a nice orangish amber hue uh, with a, a nice very light tan head, almost white head. It is slightly cloudy, not seeing much in the way of carbonation in the glass. Um, the style guideline said that the color on this beer can be sort of have a be from a range from sort of a light tan color to more of a darker amber color. Uh, this is a little bit darker. They said the darker it gets, the more caramel notes you should get with this one. So I'm thinking maybe this one will be a little more caramelly, but that'll be that's uh, yet to be seen. Let's see what the aroma is like. Definitely get a malty, musty sort of barn aroma to it, uh, almost like a, a wet hay kind of aroma. Uh, it smells pretty nice, a little bit of caramel notes in there. Just a, a sweet, uh, a malty sweetness to it. Uh, no hop aroma whatsoever. So I'm ready to go ahead and give this a taste and let you know what I think. Cheers. Uh, right off the bat, I get a, a medium to heavy mouthfeel, a lot of caramel in the flavor, it has a, a, a nice dry finish. Yeah, it definitely comes through like a farmhouse ale with not with not any of the funkiness or the uh, the the spiciness that those tend to have. This is more of like a fresh, uh, wet hay, barnyard kind of aroma. Very much more pleasing than a than a Belgian farmhouse style air, ale would be. It has that, those have more more of a funky sort of flavor to them. Uh, this is a lot fresher, pleasing. You know, it's kind of one of those strange flavors and aromas that makes you want to dive in more. You know, it's it, it's you're not quite sure where to place it, but it's interesting. So I'm getting down near the end of this first glass of the Lakefront Rendezvous Beer de Garde. Nice example of the style. As I said, it's not a style I'm particularly familiar with, but it seems to fit the guidelines pretty well. It has a nice caramel maltiness, uh, not a lot of funkiness, uh, more just uh, a wet sort of hay kind of flavor, a uh, medium to, mi to heavy mouthfeel, uh, kind of is almost too heavy of a mouthfeel, I think, for a beer that's meant to be, traditionally meant to be drunk in the summer. This may be more of a, a fall kind of uh, beer to guard, fall or springtime, uh, not particularly good for hot weather, I don't think. Uh, not much in the way of hop, hop aromas or hop bitterness. Uh, it does have a good drying finish from the alcohol in here. Yeah, so that's a nice, interesting take on the style, Lakefront Rendezvous. I'm going to come in at a 7 out of 10 on this one. It's it's pretty good. Like I said, I don't have a lot to compare it to. It's not particularly a style I gravitate towards, uh, but it's good. It was an interesting beer to try, interesting flavors coming through on this. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this bottle. You know, it's something, if it, if this the flavors sound like something you might want to try, go ahead and try it. It's not something that I would say go, you, you know, you got to find no matter what. 
uh, just a good interesting example of the style and it's pretty good. So I want to thank you for watching another Craft Beer Geek beer review. You can find this review plus more over at craftbeergeek.com and if you're going to be doing some Amazon shopping in the future please use the link on craftbeergeek.com. You will get a small commission from anything you buy and it's completely anonymous. No worries there. I thank you for that. Just want to leave you with this. Please drink responsibly and remember I don't drink bad beer. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Cheers.